Hello everybody, John Gregory here from Theme Park Tribune bringing you another Disney World off-site hotel room tour and review. This is the Rosen Inn Lake Buena Vista, located just outside of Disney property, kind of near Disney Springs. And I stayed here for one night in July 2022, paid $92, including tax, uh, through a hot wire hot rate deal. That's one of those deals where you're kind of picking blind. You don't know exactly what hotel you're getting and it's non-refundable. So you're stuck with it once it's selected. And I just wanted to give you a tour of the room and a few of my quick thoughts on the room and the hotel. I wanted to do this especially because I don't think the Rosen brand of hotels is well known outside of Orlando or to people who otherwise visit Orlando a lot. And you might come in thinking like, oh, I've never heard of that. Maybe that's some cheap, maybe even risky hotel option. And I wanted to show off that, no, they're well-maintained and a viable option for when you're visiting Orlando but wanting to save a few bucks by staying off-site. Okay, so you've got your two queen beds in this uh, pretty basic room. A hotel room that you can find and expect to find in a lot of places, including Orlando your desk and your dresser and a reasonably updated TV. Back towards the door, you've got this older style AC unit, kind of a dead giveaway for the hotel class that this is in, like a two and a half star hotel. And uh, I'll say the beds were reasonably comfortable. The TV is clearly been updated in the past few years. And then another good sign for a hotel like this, one that's a sign that it's been well maintained and there's been some TLC put into it, is the fact that they upgraded the alarm clock to include USB plugs. Um, that's really good because it's the easiest way that they these hotels can do this rather than swapping out the uh, you know the actual outlets and putting putting those in place the, the way that Disney and Universal does. Um, for these cheaper hotels, you know, if they go to this length, that means they're paying attention to these sort of things and they've updated the rooms in at least that capacity in the last decade. It's a good sign. Um, otherwise, you have plenty of plugs within easy reach. Really good to not have to move furniture around. Again, a good sign of the hotel getting some TLC. And the safe is in between the two beds. Um, not the usual placement for that but you know if you need your valuables really close to you when you sleep you're locked up valuables then uh there you go that's a comfort to you i suppose moving over here you've got this big wardrobe that acts as your closet space with some hangers usual stuff my luggage is in there right now and then the iron and ironing board are off to the side Moving into the vani vanity area, hello, um, this is separated through these two sliding doors. Um, let me just show you by moving them into place. You know, these are not, this is not really soundproofing or even separating the room um, completely. You can see through that gap. So just a warning if you're cramming a family in here, really just two people. Um, and someone's getting ready or using this area while someone else is sleeping, uh, you're not going to be all that walled off and in total privacy. So just keep that in mind. Uh, when you're packed into a room like this with another person, there's really no totally getting away from each other. So just live with it, I guess. Moving into the vanity area, you got your mirror. Not, not lit up around the edges or anything. Just a simple mirror with a light on top. Um, this is the area where you have your fridge and your microwave and a coffee maker that looks like it's seen better days. Those are always hit and miss because I don't feel like a lot of people, I don't, I never use these things and I, I don't think I'm the only one. So just keep that in mind in the hotel you stay at in Orlando, really. Um, you got some storage space underneath. And then moving into the bathroom. Um, this is where I think they could use some updating. If you can see these, the faucet here, that's, that's pretty darn old. And the water pressure was just okay in here. It didn't get all that hot. 
it's, and you know, it's kind of suspect that they have this mat to put down too. Um, it just makes me think that they know how old this is and they're doing their best to keep it clean, but it's going to show its age. So this kind of downgrades the room a bit. It's serviceable, but I think they could do better. The, this one, this one needs a, a, a swap out of some fixtures here. And that is really about it. All in all, it's a solid, if unspectacular, hotel. 92 seems a little pricey to me for this in the Orlando area, but bear in mind I'm coming during 4th of July weekend, and the summer of 2022 in general, the prices are just up um, with inflation and the travel demand. It's just making things more expensive than they otherwise would be, and you add in a holiday weekend to that, and that's even more. So, you know... Not an unfair price, and there were places that were you know, way above their usual ranges that this one seemed like a good bet for for me on this trip. And it was. Um, but if you're looking for anything, like, really spectacular in an off-site resort, this isn't going to be it. It's solid and serviceable and clean and well-maintained. And I'll say as a plus, there's enough to do that if you need to kill a few hours here... The kids want to use the pool. The parents want to take a load off. This has enough of that and well-maintained in a good way to uh, keep it going. Oh, okay, well, that's a little worse. Yeah, you know, you can't stop all the bugs. <laughs> that's the first time I've had a bug interrupt my little spiel here. Wow. Okay, well, you know, they're going to get in. As long as, it's not, as long as it's just this one. Where are you going, buddy? What you doing? Anyway, <laughs> back to my spiel. Um, don't let the one bug turn you off, or maybe let it. I don't know. It's your, it's your vacation. Uh, <laughs> um, as I was saying, you know, the pools are, are nice, um, and there is there are restaurants here. There's a bar and grill, and then there's a breakfast buffet, along with a decently sized shop that makes it a little better than the typical off-site option and if you can get a really good rate on this and you don't want to stay on site at Disney um, and you have a car because you, know, you don't want to trust off-site shuttles. They're just too erratic and this is not walkable to any sort of transportation that you could um, that you could rely upon. It's way too far from Disney Springs to walk there, for instance. Um, if all that adds up to you and is like, or those are the options you're trying to to reach for this is a pretty solid choice that's generally what i've thought of the rosen hotels um but it's not spectacular it shouldn't be your first choice of the thing you're seeking out to do here you can go a little nicer you can find a place that you want to spend even a whole day at the resort rather than just a few hours and kind of just putting up with it um and a place that's a little more updated than this is. Because this this is showing it's... I, that bathroom really irks me. Like, it just needs... It needs to be better than that. And other places, they've shown it some love, and they haven't there. So, solid but unspectacular. A viable option if you just want something clean, off-site. And if you can get a good rate on it. That's pretty much the summary for the Rosen Inn Lake Buena Vista. Uh, until next time, everybody.